with the recent events that happened in uh you know north carolina south carolina and even parts of georgia where i live you know the the hurricane helene you know basically destroyed a lot of people's possessions and some people's lives and you know very unfortunate my heart goes out to them and uh rest in peace to anyone you know who lost their lives during that ordeal the very tragic and very uh, upsetting i know a couple people who have lost their collections in those uh you know in those you know the, the tragedy in the hurricane and it made me think a little bit you know what would happen if i lost my collection because the hurricane did come through the atlanta area but it, on the side where i am it was just a lot of rain there was some you know heavy winds but nothing <clears throat> excuse me nothing crazy to to you know mess up anything and i'm very fortunate but some people are not so I, it made me think you know what would i do if my game collection is destroyed what would i do you know it just made me think about that a little bit and it also made me think you know give you guys a question you know what would you do if your game collection is destroyed what what would you do so i'm gonna talk about that and give my thoughts and opinion so hopefully you guys hang out you know if you hit this like um this video based on your recommendations i really appreciate it like share subscribe and hopefully you will enjoy the content um i have about i'll say i ain't gonna count the mini console so i'm not gonna say 30 i would say somewhere around you know 25 23 consoles in my collection and all the games behind it and i i would do an update video on everything that i have so i want to show you exactly what i got so i'll do that sometime in the future i do have a video of this room i'll put the card up or i'll put the link down in the description of that video so you can see what i have back in early 2024 but with that being said uh i want to um you know i really thought about this like basically what would i do if all of this is gone what if a storm come to through and get rid of all of the stuff i have and long story short <clears throat> I, I made a decision that i'm gonna collect for probably just one console and if you know what console that is you kind of got the answer already <laughs> you know i'm probably just gonna you know more likely i would just re uh reload and and collect for original xbox again and i think i'll stop right there i don't see myself going through the motion of getting all all these other consoles the nes super nintendo sega genesis all the other stuff I, I just don't see myself doing it you know and i can imagine all the other people who have lost all their stuff you know how do you rebuild from that you know so i'm already thinking ahead of time like it'll probably just be original xbox i'm definitely going to be building another pc you know i mean that's i don't see that as gaming or whatever it is gaming but you, you i use my pc for different other functions and i may like get a playstation 5 playstation 6 or or anything um, a modern console that's a maybe because the way new games are coming out right now and I'll probably just get it on my pc or whatever but i won't try to get you know um all this stuff that i have already try to get it again i'll just cut it as a loss and i'll just get my original xbox and i'll probably just play games off of that for the end of time i guess i just don't see myself rebuilding i mean i took it took me almost 20, maybe 25, I ain't gonna say 25, probably about 20 years to build all of this. I don't know if I'll, I'm willing to do that again. And that's just gonna be, it's gonna be too much. But, um, and I also, I'm curious, like, what would you do? What would you do if you had a big collection like this? Or do you have a big collection like this? What happens if your gaming collection is destroyed? Do you feel like you're going to uh, rebuild and get everything back again? And go through the motions or will you be like me and just take one uh one console maybe two consoles and just you know build from there because like i said i i know some people that are in this situation some people lost everything some people some content creators that i've seen they lost you know pretty much everything or they're uh, expecting to lose everything once they actually can get into their house and see what the damage is like and it's it's really devastating at the end of the day but you know i thought about it and as much as i love my collection i look at all of this and say you know what really this is a, all this is all material stuff and i'm not just talking about the games and 
all this other stuff. I mean, I'm talking about accessories, the arcade sticks, the controllers. You know, I just bought a CRT with SCART input. I mean, that's damn near irreplaceable. You know what I mean? But uh, it is what it is. You know, if it happens, it happens. You know, it's things that you can't control. And it's just something you just have to live with at the end of the day. And for me, I just said, look, I'll just go get me an original Xbox again. And um, probably just start re rebuild from there. And I may get an up-to-date console or just start playing just on those two consoles. Well, those two devices, the PC and the original Xbox. Because I just, I love the original Xbox. It's my favorite console. And as much as I love these other games, I absolutely love these other games. I just, uh, at the end of the day, I just don't see myself going through the motions of picking up all of this stuff again. I don't know. I mean, I I'm looking at it from a, I'm looking at it from a reasonable, reasonable point of view because the reasonable point of view is like, I'm not about to go through all this. It took me 20 years to get all of this stuff. Um, do I want to go another 20 years and do it again? I don't, I don't think so. I, just, I don't think I'm, I'm willing to do that again. So, but if it happens and I may catch that collection bug and like, yo, I want to get all this stuff again. And you got to think about the prices of all this stuff. I mean, buying GameCube games right now, that's pretty expensive. Dreamcast games. Oh my Lord. I'm not going back to get any Dreamcast games like that. My Sega Saturn stuff. You know, I mean, some of the stuff is pretty expensive, you know, especially the Sega stuff. And then you start looking at PlayStation 2 prices start slightly going up. Xbox 360, you know, it's a lot of prices that are going up. You know, if if it was to be a, a totally retro console that I go back and get, it may be the NES. Because I think NES is like dirt cheap, you know, or uh, just go to extremely easy route and just get flash cards for everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just get the consoles, which probably be not as bad once you think about it. Instead of buying all the games again, maybe I'll just get the consoles and get flash cards, or I'll just use my PC as one emulation box, which that might be the route if I really wanted to play these games. That's the reason why I get an original Xbox in a PC because I'll probably just go to the emulation route and just play everything on my PC because there ain't no way I can see myself going back and getting 25, 30 consoles again and just trying to rebuild all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it just makes you think that it's valuable that some of these, you know, resellers try to make these, this stuff out to be. To be honest with you, when you look at these consoles, they give you a memory that's really priceless priceless and in some cases these games in some form or fashion could be considered as priceless you you can't get some of the memories and some of the feelings and some of the experiences that you get from playing on real hardware and having fun and enjoying yourself i don't know if you could put a price tag on that so that's why you know it's it's really tough to actually put money back into something like this after you went through the whole motion of getting the stuff in the first place i don't know what you guys think y'all let me know what you think what would you do if your gaming collection is destroyed i mean what would you do you know i mean for me i think it'd be original xbox and pc all the way but um maybe some people will think differently and try to rebuild y'all let me know what y'all think i'm going to take my son out for the day it's going to be another great weekend for us and uh i'll see you guys on the next one all right y'all i'm out peace